Okay, everybody talks about the 1995 Source Awards. Everybody talk about the 2000 Source Awards, the Vibe Awards, Jack the Rapper. But nobody really talked about this here. The Mixtape Awards. The big fight that went down December 10th, 2002. And I'm going to read y'all the article here. And I'm going to do a little interpretation of it. Although the Mixtape Awards is over, the drama that went down during the ceremony is still trying to be deciphered. The first altercation began as Easy Mo B began reading out the names for best artists on the mixtape. After, cl- after calming the crowd down to finish the category, all hell broke loose on the press room backstage. A member of DJ K Slate Crew struck DJ Pudgy P in the cheek, which began an actual fight that smashed awards that were given to the winners. Once the fight was broke up, DJ K Slate came on the stage and informed the crowd that the show was over. Appalled by what was happening, DJ Cool Hurt walked on stage and said, Leave that nigga shit out of here. We're all effing brothers. Cool and K need to stop that shit. Cool Hurt went on to comment to DJ Clue, who was participating in the awards show for the last couple of years. If Cool was about anything, his ass would be out here, and this would be televised on MTV. DJ K Slay appeared back on stage to continue what he was previously saying. I'm not going to let no fucking punk from nowhere talk shit disrespect to me. Fuck the drama king. My name is Keith, nigga. Respect come first. If a nigga disrespect me, he get the shit beat out of him right there. In the end, the rest of the awards were given out to the at the after party. Although this award show was scarred by slight beasts and lack of organization, hip hop award, I mean hip hop heads still appreciate its recognition that bring hip hop to those streets. Man, 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 I wish they had the video footage of that, yo. But that just go to show you at that time period how serious the competition was between Clue and Slay. Because it was two pivotal, I think it was three pivotal moments that made me believe that Slay was going to edge Clue. When Slay dropped the Ether record on the Street Justice joint, that made people pay attention. Then he came out with State of Emergency with Who Kid that spring or that summertime I remember that and the take that made him edge out Clue Fine because Clue had the streets when it came to exclusive was the one with Run R Test and I think it was another one he had when he they had the Slim Shady I'm not Slim Shady but the Shady Records Murder Inc. joints on there those two was what made Slay edge out Clue then you had the infamous argument between Slay and Clue on the radio, which was hilarious as well. But man, people don't understand that when the mixtape game went out, man, the soul of hip hop kind of left with it, man, because that was the black market to hip hop to where people could get their voices heard. Slade was so special, man, he gave guys a shot. See, in radio, you got to come with these budgets, you got to come with the payola, you know, the politics. Slay, like, nigga, if you nice, you getting on this tape. That's the philosophy that he had. He didn't care if you was underground or old. He didn't care if you was 60 years old. If you still had bars, he threw you on there. So, yeah, man, that mixtape awards was crazy, man. And you could hear the gist of that conversation in the argument with Slay and Clue. So, check that out, man. Let me know what you guys think. Rest in peace to K Slay. Subscribe to Off the Cuff Radio. Subscribe to Screwball Radio. We need all the subscribers, man. Holla.